after this episode, we can finally watch the opening, which means that all the spoilers, all that important shit is going to happen in this episode. We evolved to a new form. We were fighting mom, then we came back and we basically just fought all our brothers and sisters and we became another evolved form. We were the harbinger of misfortune before, then the manifestation of death. What new form will we have? Let's find out today. Zana Horawa. Okay. What does that mean though? What are we? Why do you have a where does she this isn't real, right? No, this is more schizo attacks. This 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 pajama doesn't exist, right? This pajama doesn't exist, right? <laughs> Exhaustion nullification skill. Okay. Emo! Oh, no, it can't be that broken. What do you mean? What do you mean? We got immortality. We're not immortal, right? Right? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean immortality? Immortality. Yeah, that one. What is it? Inside of the system, you can no longer die. But you remember how Okachan said that we Wakaba died? Remember, remember, remember that one time? A couple episodes ago? Now she's probably bullshitting, right? Well, I don't know. I still think that when Okachan said that Wakaba is dead was based off of the reason why Wakaba like Wakaba is either the demon lord or the tenth squadron leader, right? So during the transition is what I assumed, like, is the reason why Okachan assumed that she was dead. But anyways, we're apparently immortal. And within this system, within this Isekai world, what is the system though, right? Is the system this Isekai world, right? I need to understand the actual definitions. Yeah, you got immortality. Congrats. <laughs> really? Yeah, what happens if we just get hit by a beam and we get disintegrated? Sure. What is it? Merciless, Monster Slaughter, Monster... Just new titles. Gotcha, new titles. Champion! Obtain skill Destruction Enhancements. You get champion, right? Be recognized as a champion. Upon visual contact, inflict the fear and the heresy effect on others. A title bestowed upon those are worthy of being called champion. So basically, you look at someone and they get fear debuff. Okay. <laughs> did you just call it not a champion? This is chump peon. What did you just say? It says champion. That's the opposite of how you usually feel. <laughs> Which is more like chump peon. You're so funny, Wakaba. This is actually kind of scary. Jesus! Adnindi! You're back! Is D the demon lord? Does Adnindi stand for demon lord? Because again, I don't know. Which one is Wakaba really? Like, the more I watch this, the more I start to like think like, is this bitch the real demon lord? Who really knows? Is it a different color phone? Wow, new smartphone. Hello, D. What's up, D? Okaba's gonna act like she doesn't exist. You know, D helped us out. What? She has a spider destruction button. She's capping. Then again, she is the fucking admin. She may be able to do that. Cap. Okay, she's joking, right? What do you mean you don't need a button to do that? Because she is the admin. Okay. I don't worry about it. All right, all right. D really loves Wakama. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> hey, what do you want? Are you immortal too, Admin D? So all Zana Horawas are immortal? Oh shit. There's like only one Zana Horawa alive? Pochi pochi pochi. No, I think she just wants fun. All right, she's in a good mood. What happens when she's in a bad mood though? Great question. So we actually died in Japan. Well, in the classroom, right? What do we see? We saw like in the, in the classroom before we got transported was very sus because it almost looked like we saw from the perspective, like the cameraman wasn't like the perspective of a spider just like crawling around on, on the walls. And then like the room just went like, it went bright. It was like a light and then I, and then we got summoned, but I guess they literally died. Like, the entire class just died. The previous hero and the demon lord, they affected us? They are so good at dimensional magic that they escaped the boundaries of this world and somehow affected us? 
The support doesn't obviously exist outside the system. Transcription. It's just a bunch of fucking code because the system is a video game because it's still a video game, right? They were good at dimension because like it's a game. It's a game. It's it's within the system. But they were the hero and the demon were so good with dimensional magic they busted out of the game and onto real world, but because the transcoding didn't work properly, what happened? It was our class. What the fuck is this explanation? It's a game, right? The regular admins are the ones who are supposed to actually take care of the world. You're not a regular? You are an outsider who proposed the system. One more time? They're supposed to take care of this world, but then she proposed the system. The system. This this world. This, I'm not following. Okay. Thank you for killing innocent high school students. Okay, that's the aftermath of her class. What? Oh! N percent I equals W. Beyond that, I provided a special skill to each of them based on compatibility. As a race that best suited their soul's frequency. Again, this is our assumption, right? People's like their their persona personality, their values, what they want, their desires are more exemplified in this world, right? So it makes sense. Yeah. See, look at this creepy ass smile from Avin D, man, huh? So like, does it make sense? What are the nat what is the characteristics of a spider? Spiders like um damp, dark spaces. Wakaba is a gamer, you know, that likes you know, the dark, you know, she's very antisocial, so I don't really know. I don't know. <laughs> Almost everyone, but yes. Except Faye and her, right? I mean, does a vampire count as a human? I don't know, but. <laughs> early start. Exactly, the early start, because she's a monster, right? Because, like, when everyone else is resurrected into this world as babies, they still retain their memories, but because they're fucking babies, they can't fucking train. But like a monster, like a spider is different. So Wakaba had a much head start. Uh, yeah, Spider-Man. They're dead-ass babies, they can't do shit. Even your birth was faster than it would have been for a human. What does that mean? Like the development of Wakaba? Because obviously a baby can't fucking move around and fight, but spider, you know, Tartek, yeah. Basically. Oka-chan! Oh, that's because I didn't reincarnate my... S am I... Or am I stupid or are you saying that you're okay? Wait, 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 wait. Would it... Wait, wait, 25 people... Wait, this is important! 25 people died. 25 people were in the class, right? 25 people were in the class. They got hit by the bomb or whatever. With 25. The 26th is Oka-chan, but... Yeah? Because I didn't reincarnate my... Why would you reincarnate? You're an admin. You, 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 you're, you're admin D. You propose the system. You are a being that exists outside of Japan classroom. Right? Right? What, what does this mean? Oh, that's because I didn't reincarnate myself. Who are you? No, wait, wait, how does that mean? She proposed a system. She proposed a system. She had contact. She's a fucking new admin. Who are you? My presence is what made the hero and the demon lord's magic affect the class. Why is this girl so important? Why, why, why is this girl so fucking important? There are 26 overall in the classroom. But 25 reincarnated. Because Oka-chan is included in the 25. But where is the 26? The 26 is Admin D. Apparently Admin D didn't get reincarnated. Admin D was aware of all this shit happening from the beginning. Admin D proposed the system onto this world to the regular developers.
Is this some sort of sword art online type of fucking, you know, devs where they had a fucking game and real people's souls can get extracted and put it into a fucking game and they all fucking, you know, live their real lives in, in this fucking game and... Uh, which students do? We don't know any student. We don't have enough background information to understand who even Adam and D could have been. <sighs> They were trying to kill her? What? For proposing the system? There is a faction that considers the admins their enemy. Probably the church? Previous demon learning hero instigated by that group was it the church? Who are you? I'm just so confused, dude. Victory against her. We're fighting a girl. There is some natural enemy we have to fight? Faye. Uh, Faye. My guess is Faye. Because obviously she was bullying us back then. We kind of had some ties back on Earth, right? But we're also from the same labyrinth. We even try to eat the egg. We know that the spiders and the dragons, aren't they like... Aren't they like enemies or some shit? So doesn't it make sense that it's gonna be Faye? Or maybe it's mom? Maybe it's mom. Maybe it's Faye. Maybe it's Oka-chan. I don't fucking know! Okay, let's do a little recap. That was so much fucking plot, dude. That was so much. And maybe her is her, dude. Okay, okay let, 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 let's guess who her could be, right? So it's either gonna be Faye. Maybe it's Oka-chan. Maybe it's as simple as Spider Mom. Or maybe it's Admin D. Maybe her is her referring to to uh, her Admin D, right? Maybe Admin D and Wakaba are destined to be fucking enemies. I don't know. But b besides that, right? Holy shit. So, there is this world. Previous... So, and, and I thought that this world is a fucking video game. So, video game world? Or at least it seems like it. And I still don't know what Admin D means when she says system, right? I don't know what she means by she proposed a system to this world. So, maybe this world didn't have skills before because Okachan said that you got to be very careful of skills and shit like that. Maybe the skills, this like new system imposed onto this world, right? Making this world into like a level up system and skills and stuff like that. That is the system imposed on this world. There is admins that are regular and there are new admins like admin D. And these admins are supposed to... Didn't they say that the regular admins are supposed to maintain the world, but then Admin D is the one that proposed the system. So it sounds like Admin D is the reason why this world suddenly has skills and shit. Maybe let's just go with, with, that, with that line of thought, right? Now, Admin D was a student back in Japan, our classmate. Maybe she was a hardcore programmer. Maybe she was an like indie dev on the side. Maybe she was doing game dev stuff. And she somehow had connections to other admins in this community. And they're like, hey, did you know that we have this like simulation? It's like this world. And you can somehow use technology to extract souls like SAO from the real world and put it into the game or some shit without nerve gear. And she's like, oh, cool. And somehow the fucking dimensional fragments and shit started busting up. And, you know, the hero and the demon lord, they attacked the school and blah, blah, blah. So Admin D... Was she at school that day? Was she at school during the day of the explosion, right? Because she thought she was not reincarnated. So I feel like she was absent during that school, right? I feel like she was not present. Because if you die, then how the fuck are you going to be still here? So maybe just guess that Admin D was not at school there. Maybe she just skipped school because she knew that that day was going to get bombed. I don't... I don't did, she, did, did she confirm that she was in the classroom? She's an admin. She wouldn't die. She said that the explosion was targeting her. My bad. Other details. She's, that's right. The explosion was trying to target her. I don't know how the fuck she lived. But again, she is part of the classroom. That's right. She is part of the classroom. But she somehow had the option to not resurrect. So does that mean she has... If you don't get resurrected, then what is your form? Do you just get summoned here? I don't fucking... I'm so, so confused. I'm just so fucking confused. I'm, I'm so fucking confused. Guys, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I don't know anyway. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> Anyways, and then D somehow was a classmate. She fucking is in this world without getting reincarnated. She is clearly one of a fucking player, right? Because we saw Admin G, who was a playable character. So this is further, like, confirming my guess that Admin D might be the fucking demon lord. And Wakaba might just be the 10th squadron leader. And Wakaba might have just killed Yuli's Nisama then.
Like, I just feel like the personality of the Demon Lord is also so playful, just like her on the phone, right? And I could have guessed, maybe it makes sense that 15 years has passed, Wakaba's personality might have twisted after being a demon for so long, right? And there's also the, obviously, the fact that she used Annihilating Eye. The 10th Squadron, um, 10th Squadron leader did use Annihilating Eye, Annihilating Eye onto Yuli Nissan's party, but I was like, sure, that's a coincidence, but it's not enough. It's like, anyone can learn the skill, right? So it's, and, and the fact that the Demon Lord was like talking from the perspective of Wakaba, like talking about how she fought an Earth Dragon before, probably Araba and all this different shit that made me think that that could have been. I, anyways, I don't really know what's going on anymore. I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. I don't know what I'm doing, but basically, M and D, Demon Lord, Wakaba, 10th Squadron, M and D also proposed their skill system onto this world. The church instigated the fight between the demons and the heroes to kill admin d because the church hates the skills because the church doesn't want you to learn skills to get taboo to learn about the real truth about this world because the more that the admins have the system the church has less power i i think that might be a little bit of a higher you know like it's, it's like a very high level abstract like a, on a very basic level that, that seems like it is right Wait, the church wants us to learn skills? The elves don't? Fuck me. I thought the church didn't want us to learn skills. I thought the church literally says anyone have taboo, kill them. What do you mean? You're capping, dude. Okachan said that don't learn the skills. The church said the, 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 the fucking Yuri of the church. Maybe it's just taboo they don't want. Right? Just taboo. The skills are good. Just don't learn taboo because you learn about the history. And the history, I don't. I, I paused for fucking 20 minutes now. I don't know. I don't know! I'm so confused. I'm so confused, dude. I don't know. This dude, I don't trust. I don't trust this guy. Oh, right. That's going to the Elro Labyrinth. Faye? Where is Faye hidden? Where is she? She's so big. Whatever. Sup? Goyef. I don't trust Goyef either. Wait, is he part of the party? Uh, remember the time that um, Yulia's uh, party went in us? Uh, wh who was he? Was he the guy that sacrificed himself and got his arm cut off for the mage? Or who? Is he the guy with the kids? Did he survive? Do we know this guy? Or is it a random dude? <laughs> this is Yulius' uh, little brother. This is our new hero. Look at him. Does, does, he, does he spark inspiration? <laughs> God damn it. We're stuck with this kid? Fuck. We're fucked. Alright, come inside. Yeah. The entrance is guarded. Eh, that's a different entrance. Because from where we came out was different, right? So we need to like smuggle them in. Maybe Go maybe Goya fucking rats us out. Maybe this dude sells us out. I bet we've already betrayed. Huh? Okay, then what's the problem? Then he, obviously he's dead next. This is actually very reasonable. Oh, wait, another dude? Do we know this guy? Was he part of the party? On the nightmare of the labyrinth? Giga Chat Dad? Alright. Yo, this wash stuff GG is sick. He's a Giga Chat. Let's go. Surely we're not getting betrayed, right? Hmm. What are they doing? Hello. What's up? What's going on? They're really dragging this out. Holy shit. Humanoid? Faye. I mean, if Wakuba's gonna get a human form, Faye's gotta get a human form too. Alright, let's... Is she, is she hot as fuck? Is she hot? She's gotta be super hot, right? There's no way she's not hot, right? Alright, here we see. If she has glasses... Bad, but if she doesn't, cliffhanger me. Okay. She kind of looks like a grown-up lolly. 
It's not my favorite design. It's 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 not my favorite design. I don't know. I, I don't like what's wrong with the glasses? Oh, oh oh I'm sorry. I don't want like my kids to fucking have proper 2020 eyesight. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Ooh. Anyway. <laughs> um the hairstyle. I just I just don't like the hairstyle. She looks great. She looks cute. It's just this is not my preference. The vampire though. The vampire design. That's that's fucking perfect. Shinohara. Isn't Shinohara from Class of the Elite? Humanification. Is that a skill that everyone has? Humanification? Or everyone can learn? Oh. Was she? Was she? Is Faye looking at Katya being jealous and Faye feeling superior? Is 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 this a fucking three three triangle? Is 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 this a fucking triangle right now? I'm not really sure. I much prefer Katya than Faye. Shin does have a fucking harem, dude. Damn, isn't Katya a dude though? Have you seen Katya? Have have you seen Katya, my man? Have you seen Katya? Have you seen what she looks like? That's a man? I like men then, I guess. Katya's great. She has her confidence back so bad. Before she was like, oh, this is a fucking, you know, torture. I'm a familiar. Oh my god. And now she's back and she's like, oh, I'm so fucking hot. What did you say? What did you say? Hold up. Why do you suppose she looks so much like she did before reincarnating? Good. Good question. She looks like herself before reincarnating. What is the reason? Took the anime time to notice? Yo, you are so fucking sassy. Motherfucker, how many times have we even seen Faye in the fucking anime? For like fucking like five seconds? Do you take a fucking day off? You're so fucking annoying, dude. Holy shit. But like, why does she look like that? Why does she look like that? There's gotta be a reason why she looks so similar, right? I don't really... There's no way we're gonna ever fucking know at this point, right? I, a soul, what the fuck is a soul's image? You guys are fucking spoiling me now. You motherfuckers are just spoiling me now. Yeah. Kind of like a narcissistic bully. Well, yeah. It's because, you know... You're, 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 you're resurrected into who you look like. Or, sorry, your personality. They did. Who <laughs> are... Oh, Hirokaba. Hirokaba. So, like, she still thinks Wakaba is dead? Why? Why? They're chilling at some other place, right? Negishi, she won't tell. She won't tell him that it's Negishi, though. <sighs> Admin D. Who is... Fuck. Do we have the names? So, like, these names mean nothing to me, you know? Like, let's like, let's go back. Let's let's let's, let's go back here, okay? Let's let because like these names mean fucking nothing to me, right? If you gave me a list of twenty six fucking names of the class, it still doesn't mean anything to me because I don't fucking know them, you know. But we did see like a um, couple faces here, right? Is there an image here that maybe like is Advin D one of these girls? Like like who could it be, right? It has no meaning. They, they, I don't know these students. Like, the early fucking episode showed fucking nothing. Then we had one flashback that didn't really focus on, you know, these other students and only just, like, other students. So it's like, what, what, what the fuck are these names, man? They, they mean fucking nothing to me. But clearly, Admin D is one of the 26. And if the Demon Lord is going to be part of it, I think it makes sense. What do you mean Kumo's not named? Of course she's in there. Wakaba Hiro was on the fucking list. Unless you're saying that Kumo doesn't have a name in this world, then yeah, she doesn't have a name. Why are you telling me that her name isn't named in the status? I've already fucking confirmed you. Are you fucking talking with me from 10 minutes ago? Are you a fucking mobile watcher? Sometimes, this, this is the thing. I, must, I fucking talk to you guys, but 70% of my fucking watchers are fucking kids on their phones, and they're 10 minutes behind, so they're fucking answering things I've already said, and it's so fucking confusing! Cap, she's in our class, dude. 
Wait, it... I've talked way too much fucking this. This is already 33 minutes in. We're only fucking 15 minutes in. And, and, and like, the stuff that's supposed to happen in this episode, right? The thing that spoils the opening still hasn't happened yet. Holy shit. We haven't even got to the good shit yet. Oh, my God. What the fuck? We're having a beach episode all of a sudden? All right. But can she fly? Can we like be on her back in this like human form? Can she just like fly like that? I kind of want to see. Water dragon territory. I'm just so used to dragons only being earth dragons, but there's water dragons. Okay. Okay. Basically going to go down to an underground entrance. So many different entrances. There's troops in the underground water. Wait, why is she walking backwards? Dude, her toe. Did you see this? Look at this. Look at this. She's got. Look at this. <laughs> it's just. She's got sharp ass toenails. <laughs> she's got sharp ass toenails. No, Mr. Ride. I'm not being mad at you. I'm just yelling for content. <laughs> see, here's the thing. You see, no, no, no. I just proved myself, motherfucker. You commented this like five minutes after me ranting. So you are a mobile viewer. Because I yelled, then we were watching, then you comment like five minutes after. What is this delay? <laughs> no, you can hear you? Okay, alright, alright. How's she gonna take care of it? Faye's just like super scared of the water, right? Alright. Jump! Push Faye. So, Faye and Shun, I mean, they do have a pact. Katya is kind of getting jealous. Is this actually a triangle? Okachan Dumpy. CGI water dragon. How do you fight this thing in the water? What? You got a plan? Oh? Shin, what you do? I mean, why am I asking if it's realistic? There's a fucking water dragon chasing people in the water in a fucking isekai world where... Anyways. <laughs> like, how the fuck did he outswim the water dragon there? What? You're outmaneuvering a water dragon? Uh-oh, time for a new hero. Okay, so Faye in the humanoid form can still, like, shoot beams and shit. Alright, here we are in the labyrinth. Oh, more, more, you know, fan service? No, it's not fan service. Katya getting jealous at the Shun Faye ship. What, what is this triangle forming, dude? All right, we're in the Elro Labyrinth. Now what? They gotta get through it, right? But like, it's been so long. Are monsters still in here? Because everyone fucking left, didn't they? Well, Wakaba, the Nightmare of the Labyrinth, made a bunch of monsters leave. But I don't really know if they came back. Anyways, uh, more happy beach. Oh, Wakaba beach time! What in the fuck is this fucking bikini? What the fuck? <laughs> you ain't got titties to cover. What are you doing? Vava boom body. Yeah, you're getting the attention of all the monkeys and the fucking frogs. What did you just say? Did you just say in your old life? Wait, 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 what? In my old life, I could have swum in a way that would have made Mermaid jealous. Weren't you just like a fucking neat gamer? What are you talking about? That was a lie. That was a lie. She was a snail. Wait, that was like an appraisal thing, right? That was like an appraisal meme. She said slug and then the, you know, the, he was like, no, this is what a slug actually is. What is happening right now? What the fuck? She's on a boat? It, what? Am, what, it, what? Who is her? Probably the demon lord or mom or I don't fucking know. Negishi? I don't know. Faye, maybe? Yeah, our pearl minds are still fucking stuck in there. Where are we? What is Wakaba doing? Is this all her imagination? She actually out in the ocean? Maybe she teleported out, man. Water dragon. Water dragon. 
actually a water dragon. What if it's the same one that attacked them in the 15 years in the future? Is the earth dragon like the strongest dragon? Some, I think someone said the earth dragons are like the strongest of this world, right? I'm not really sure how true that is. And we just teleport. And that's another dragon down. We are a dragon slayer. Yeah, why are we fishing here? What are we doing? All right, the puppet. Here we go. Back to the main plot. That was just so random. But like, I really want to test like our immortality here. Come on, my Miami Ocean Resort. Guys. Guys, what the fuck? Oh, is the spoilers just fucking Faye in humanoid form? Is that the spoiler? Is that it? Because I'm just like looking at the timer. I'm like, when is like this incredible spoiler going to happen? I, no, there's a little bit of the episode left. That's right, you're immortal. And the puppet just drowned. <laughs> Wait, did we literally just drown together? Like, we straight up just dragged it in, and we just drowned together, and because we're immortal, we just survive? Alright, cool! And you're a champion. New title. Yeah, we're... <laughs> okay, we're fishing again. What the fuck is going on, dude? Hey! Our friends! Magic one! Uh-oh, mom's coming. Mom's coming? No? What do you mean? We thought mom was top of the food chain, but we were wrong way. Is this a spoiler? This is a spoiler. This is a spoiler. The reason why I didn't watch the opening? Demon Lord? It's got some arm. Demon Lord! No, 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 no. Look at the jacket. Look at the jacket. That is the Demon Lord jacket that I mistakenly said. Oh, that's a spider. Look, it's a spider legs. No, that's the fucking jacket, dude. So now... Wakaba has to be either the 10th squadron um, leader or a different girl that we don't know yet. Who's the demon lord? Admin D? D? Is that you? Who are you? A prince of blocks. <laughs> Origin Tartet! Origin Tartet! So she is, I mean, okay, that makes a lot of sense why the demon lord also had like spider capabilities because she also is a Tartet. Origin Tartet though, named Ariel. Does the word Ariel mean anything though? Does, does the word Ariel mean... When, when did I remember Ariel? I don't think I remember Ariel, to be honest. But she's level 139. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck? I think that mom was only at like 20,000 something, right? In terms of the offense, defense, magic power. Wasn't she at like 20,000? Maybe 40,000 something, right? 20k or 40k? She's at fucking 90k, dude. She's reaching six figures. Um, There's a lot of skills here, which I'm sure is important. But I'm kind of interested in the titles, right? Human Slayer, Human Slaughter, Human Calamity, Demon Slayer. Where's Demon Lord? Demon Slayer, Demon Slaughterer, Demon Calamity. So, Ariel kills both humans and demons. And fairies. Okay. And monsters. And worms and dragons. We're also a kin eater. She's an assassin. Thread user, puppet. Puppet user is the puppet I guess we saw before. I'm not really sure. Commander champion, lord. Ruler of gluttony. And the last title, demon lord. Damn. Demon lord is an actual fucking... Oh yeah, you guys can't fucking read this shit. I just realized like, there's no way you guys can see this shit. Because, <laughs> you know. Anyways, I'm reading it out for you. Demon Lord. Yeah. Admin D? Ariel? Who is she really? I don't man. Oh my god. Why did they make her CGI here? What the fuck? What 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 what? She looks nice, but it was like CGI out of nowhere. Immortal! Immortal! And that is another episode of Spider and Holy shit. Everything I knew was wrong. Well, I mean, I kind of was. I never confirmed that Wakaba was the demon lord. I was like, is she the demon lord? She has to be. But then I was like, always like suspicious. Like, who was the 10 squad leader? Like, who was that? But holy shit. Holy shit. That's Admin D. And like, she is the student. She's a student. She's one of the 26. 
but she didn't get reincarnated. What does that mean? She didn't get reincarnated. She got summoned? She can just participate in this world because she's an admin of this system that she proposed onto this game world? I don't fucking know. Why would D kill Wakaba? I don't think this is her killing Wakaba. I think this is her just cutting her up and just pulling her close because she didn't want her to fucking wait in the ocean because she's immortal, right? She knows that she's immortal. But I'm just going to assume that this is admin D. And okay, that's pretty much it. Today's episode, holy shit, there was a lot of plot, man. And even though it's explaining, it's giving us details, there's just not enough, right? Like, I understand why the explosion happened. I understand that there's a system in a different world and there's these admins. But like, why is D doing this? She's one of her classmates. Yet because we don't have any background information on most of the classmates, it just doesn't mean anything to me yet, right? All the pieces are slowly combining, but there's just still missing gaps in logic where I can't piece it together. But we're getting closer and closer to the truth, right? So on the other side of the human party, basically this is random love triangle feeling forming everywhere. Faye has a humanoid form, but suddenly she looks like herself and she looks, sorry, her, her personality is entirely like the Faye before. Not like the dragon, sorry, not, not like Faye like the dragon, but like Faye from Earth, which is I'm sure something important that we got to care, like, you know, pay attention to. We are basically entering this labyrinth to, you know, go to the other land and then it's just, you know, the more walkable stuff. Man, holy shit. This anime, yo, you gotta pay fucking attention, man. Every little detail matters. Every little detail matters. Mom was not the fucking top of the food chain. There was a OG Tara Tech, dude. Something beyond just Queen Tara Tech. She is an origin Tara Tech. And what does this mean for the future? I don't fucking know. There's not enough for me to fucking, you know, you know, speculate. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.